Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Renault Megane. This is the E-Tech EV, so fully electric model and it's the strongest uh, 220 horsepower. So in this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details, check the infotainment and without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So finally, we have the electric Megane on test, beautiful Renault, this is the Techno package. And this is the 60 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, you can also get the 40 kilowatt with 130 horsepower you can you can get the 60 kilowatt hour battery also with 130 horsepower and you can get the 220 horsepower which is this now uh, before we show the car let's check the key fob new key with a new badge all black same from the group lock unlock you can turn on the lights and lock or unlock the cargo so let's turn on the headlights you can see those LED now, if I unlock the car, you can see a little gimmick, a little dance with the headlights. Same when you lock the car, mirrors unfold. Now, let's come a little bit closer and check out uh, the car. So, this is front wheel drive and VLTP, you can get uh, 470 kilometers, which is not realistic. In real life, you get around 300, 350, depends on your driving style, highway speeds you have in your country. So, let's come closer, check it out. We have the beautiful LED Pure Vision headlights. So we're gonna check at night, separate video, uh, the performance of these. So on the top, you have LED projectors, around six of them. And then if I unlock the car, you can see there are uh, daytime running lights. The bottom part turns to dynamic turn signals. And on the top, you can see the LEDs. So they have a little chrome extending towards the center. And this is also beautiful but I don't think this illuminates, if I'm not mistaken. Now, uh, on the side and around arches, this is piano black, extending at the bottom, so it gives it a little bit sportier look. We have here piano black with a little chrome, and we have the new badge. It's the classical diamond with the 360 camera. There's one on the mirror there. We're gonna check it out closer from the other angle, and you can see also 360 parking, uh, self-parking is an option uh, that you have here you can see side tunneling now let's check the car from this angle so it looks very attractive and you can see a little air intake at the bottom since it's an electric car only has air intake at the bottom now it is really stylish a uh, little compact EV I gotta say I, I like it so again, 220 horsepower or 160 kilowatts. I think it was 7.4 seconds, zero to 100, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna put all the technical details in the video description in a link, so check it out. Now, uh, let's check the alloys here. We have a really big alloy and I like it. It's a five spoke, a little bit closed design. So this is the 215-45R20, 20, 20 inches. You can also spec 18 inch. So this is diamond cut, silver on black with a new badge. You see the lug nuts with safeties, anti-theft, and we have real disc brakes uh, on the front and the rear. Now, checking here, we have integrated washer nozzles in the wipers. We have the light and rain sensor and a lane assist camera with heaters for winter to defrost. Also, uh, we have this beautiful blue metallic color you can see it here and on the top we have black metallic color same as contrasting side mirrors so you can cho choose one color or dual tone there's plenty of colors in the configurator you can see the side mirror turn signal and camera there there's also a little projection there a little puddle light and black roof we have the shark fin antenna bodies extending to the spoiler if i back up you can see the whole car, it looks very elegant. The wheels are really big. So we have tinted windows on the rear and C-shaped chrome on the top. Now at the bottom, we have unpainted plastic. So, so you don't hit other doors. So this is a press car, so all the people uh, chip the paint. Now uh, door handles, not sure if you catch that, they retract. So. Um, if I unlock the car once again, you can see they pop out. So you just 
pull it and open. Now the driver's side has this, you can see physical cylinder here. So in case you deplete your 12 volt battery and you can't start the car, then you can access the car like that. There is a blind spot warning and blind spot physically in the mirror itself. No auto dimming, only the inside mirror has auto dimming. Now the rear has this type of opening, more aerodynamic, looks elegant and checking the rear. So these are winter tires fitted Hancock. So from the factory car comes with the uh, summer tires. So this is winter E Sept Evo 3, 215-45 R20, I think that's the same. Um, very wide, so it gives you nice um, also uh, feeling around the potholes, speed bumps, and you know, manholes, wider tire is always better. Uh, you can see the car, it looks very, very elegant. I really like it, it's stylish, and I like what they did with the car. Now, let me turn on the rear taillights. So let's come a little bit closer. You can see here Renault, and we have this like, like it's uh, some sort of, like, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna type it down but it reminds me of that. And then we have the bar extending to the rear. It looks really elegant. Um, you can see here for regulations, so uh, fooling here, this is like for chip stones not to fly off. You can see stoplight there and really small wiper. And if I back up here, you can see really how this looks elegant and wide. Now on the bottom, piano black combo, we have uh, cat eyes and we have LED for reverse light and fog lights. We have a backing camera, white LED license plates. Huge thanks to Renault Croatia for giving me this card for review. And on the back we have the new badge, Megane E. So they kind of emphasize the E as the um, electric or uh, e tech press the button kind of opens up this one's manual you can also spec electric opening so if I back up you can see here the whole car in perspective I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet tall so there you go for comparison now on the top we can close this manually on both ends there's your actually now you have a button on the top. This is just like to pull up plastic. And over here we have a shelf. It has this rubber stoppers. You can remove this so you can take it out if you want. You can put a longer umbrella here. But look at this. When you lower it down, it kind of thumps a little bit, but it's okay. We have 440 liters of cargo space, 1,332 if you knock down the seats. So there's a nice plastic protection here. But look at this, it's really deep. So I can't tell you how much of, I would say like five, 10, almost 15 fingers of height to the loading area. Now to the left, uh, there's no light. To the right, there's one warm light. There's grocery hooks on both ends. And this is pretty closed. So you can see the left side here without the light. And you have four tether points. You can see that. And over here, there's no false floor. I wish they added maybe a false floor, but I guess it would be too shallow if you look at this height. So you can see how that looks. Now this is a first aid box, emergency triangle and spare bulbs. But in this case, it's LEDs inside. And over here you can see there's, uh, this is your home charger, Shuko and uh, type two fire extinguisher, max 10 kilos on top shelf. And then you have this one. This is for the public AC charging stations, type two, three long. Now, what's interesting, this car has onboard charger of 22 kilowatt hours. Now to look at the car, different angle. And it charges on AC, so 22 kilowatt hour. And to DC, 
it charges up to 130 kilowatts per hour. So this is the AC, again, 22 kilowatts max, and then combined CCS to uh, up to 130 kilowatts max. Uh, I believe this is 400 volt uh, architecture, and again, 60 kilowatt hour battery. So we did a round walk around around the car. I love the bonnet design there. Now, I did a little walk around since the charge port is on the front of the vehicle on the side. So opening up here. So this is a bit clunky because it's plasticky, but it's okay. Now, rear doors open fairly wide if you need to put a child seat inside here. And let's check the seals. We have a triple sealing, so that's excellent. Going around, we have the inside seal as well. And you can push down here to lock for the ins from the inside for the kids if you have like a two-year-old so it doesn't open by accident while you're driving. All of the car locks, but it's a standard here. So when you stop, they cannot just exit if you're next to traffic. Car plastic. Roman 5 means this is a factory tint. Now, yeah, hard plastic is good for weight reduction in EVs, but I like this pattern. It looks like imitation of leather. You have a little chrome here. This is piano black, nice and big handles, but this, this is slightly padded with leather, so it feels okay. Power windows, all automatic. You have a little cloth inside, so that's nice when you put things in the back. It's not noisy. You have a speaker here. And at the bottom now uh, checking the interior and you can see a little light on the top so we have beautiful seats now you have to pull here to knock down the seat so you can see that space and size it's very deep and on the top you have the top that the point there now let me just Get this back so i gotta say really nice looking seat you can press there to lower that and now this is quite tall since it's electric we have leather black and yellow contrast stitching textile gray you have the isofix points there and then on the top it looking very really nice black rooftop now you can get also dark interior with light roof liner but you would get a smaller screen on the front and be shorter or you can get another black interior and a like a light tone interior the rest of the interiors have black roof liner now there's this like a carpet here you can see rigid on the back and since this is electric car flat floor now let's sit inside and see how do you sit inside usually it's a squat position and yeah you can see that that is not really comfortable at all on the longer journeys trust me it's not now the seat is not in the lowest position because i wouldn't be able to fit underneath i'm a taller person so i like to uh, lower myself but it's okay i would say you here have a leather uh, cover and pockets over here, this is closed and open. This is rubberized. And you can adjust the air vents how you like them or as a passenger. Now, there are two USB-Cs on the bottom. I believe they illuminate. And, well, the seats are comfy. The middle seat is comfy. And, unfortunately, no armrest in the middle. And you can see this is nice and long. You can see all sides besides the driver have slowly closing handles and little hooks there. This is a touch light. And on the back, it is narrow. And you have a little uh, addition because of that in the middle mirror. It's a digital one. And they kind of didn't really try to maximize this headspace here. It's slightly here, but yeah, let me show you that in a moment. So just to close this up, good closing sound and good soundproof. So if I want to straighten up, obviously it's an issue. I'm a taller person, so that's an issue. But let's say if I'm an average person, 
I'd be touching with my hair. Maybe if I was like really short, it would be okay. You can see that the headdress would be like in my height, but in this case, it's really not. So that's the tallest people's problem. Now you can see that little hook there. I've showed you so no in the A pillar, but at least one on the top there. Adjustable seat belts. Now uh, headrests are, you have here you press. So Volvo-like design, really nice. So you have leather then textiles from the inside. And over here, you can see the new interior. So this is also shared with the new Austral. I had it on test. Uh, so you can check that review on the channel if you're interested. And see, they've left some space here, but decided not to put the handle on the top. I think they should keep that. Now let's get to the uh, front. Yeah, knee area I forgot to say, but it's okay. You can see that we didn't miss anything okay yeah on the back you have uh, three of those seat belts so some cars have four but it's okay three is enough and so you know closing sound could be slightly better but it's okay now you had that uh, animation there but we'll Turn it on once again if you missed it. So the front doors open really wide and same seals going around inside part of the doors. And over here you can see the tire pressure. So we have this dimension 20 inch, you can spec 18 as well. Maybe you get it on the 40 kilowatt hour battery. And uh, here you have the battery size. So moving on, on the front, also hard plastic, but they give you here Alcantara. It's not padded, but it feels nice, looks nice. Now you can also have wood imitation and so on. You have ambient lights on the front. And this is padded with leather slightly, a little bit better. You have a little rubber there, nice big handles. You can lock the rear for the kids, not to play with the windows. All are automatic. You can adjust the mirrors automatically. You can fold them even while driving. It doesn't help with the air resistance. I tried it and here also carpets this is a lot bigger so you can put a bigger water bottle a nice big pocket speaker at the bottom and checking here uh, well you have this carpet there you can see the paddles it's automatic one speed of course here seats lumbar support only driver side up and down for the whole seat push up to tilt that and push up to slide the whole seat back and forward yes maybe you've noticed someone broke the other piece it's a press car with 10,000 10, kilometers almost yeah and over here you can see electronic parking brake auto hold and um, let's cover here you have the lane assist traction off and you have the brightness for the illumination of the screens and the little buttons there Steering column is manual and you can see the view at the top and the mirror. Now the seats, you know, really are comfy. I gotta say I was driving today. I really like them. And over here you can see the inside middle bridge or the lower part. There's a 12 outlet there, a cup holder, and then there's this armrest. I'm going to show you that so you can see that a little up close from here. Now let's sit inside. Let's hear the closing sound. Really good. You can see the odometer almost 10,000 on the clock. Mm -hmm. Beautiful animation. So there will be point of view driving with no talking and a separated night point of view driving would uh, impressions or like a review, if you will. Now this screen might flicker, in person it doesn't, so at the moment it's okay. Let me zoom back in. We have a beautiful new steering wheel, I really like the design of this horn and the new badge, it looks really classy. And on the top it's flat and on the bottom it's a three spoke. Uh, we have really nice leather, it's on the smoother side, you have periphery in the middle at the bottom part we have a little piano black details 
this is like a glass this might scratch you see some smaller scratches there but this one's uh, like a plexiglass or something so it's better so you have cruise control settings you have options for the infotainment voice voice uh, voice commands uh, phone calls favorites driving modes and for the infotainment I'm going to show you we also have recuperation paddles so you can see those we have a light controls here keep your lights on automatic long beam turn it on for automatic turn signals and then here on the right side we have uh, wiper controls this is for the rear wiper here you can control uh, their automatic so here you can control the intensity of droplets and over here is the automatic again one speed automatic push down to drive up for reverse there's a button here press to park but look at this when you go to drive it's okay but when you go on and go reverse sometimes you hit the wiper stock not really practical i think they've uh, maybe should have reconsidered this um yeah okay moving on so we have a uh well beautiful uh, materials here on the cloth look at that in the alcantara and air vents here you can i guess just the air direction not sure if you can close it now uh, this is piano black basil around the screen uh, there's some vents there and we have this beautiful cloth uh, this is all hard plastic and there's alcantara there harman kardon speakers over there so you have extra speakers inside uh, there's an air vent there and vents here for the computers inside now we have this beautiful display and you can see the edge of the looks like the edge of the badge we also have a wait what's this i just noticed this to be honest oh i didn't notice this to be honest uh that's for opening and closing the vents here close and open wow it's so black so i didn't notice it and you have here power on or off now i think this is unnecessary they could have you know uh, had a different solution when you sit down the car knows has a pressure sensor for the seat belt so it knows you're sitting then you can just press brake put it to drive like a tesla i have a tesla so that's more uh, convenient i think rather than having a button to press but anyways uh, moving on not to forget here Renault has this volume press both to mute uh, sources on the top like bluetooth usb radio and then here you have the roller to change radio stations and i'm not sure what the mode is i forgot from the top of my head now um i'm sure you're going to figure it out if you buy the car now at the bottom we have ac controls wow there's so much glare you can see you can press these for the climate turn off the climate max blow rear defrost automatic uh close air circulation max ac either reaction and passenger you can hear turn the hazards on so there we go unfortunately you can't see them here you can lock the car but lock automatically when you start driving you can turn that feature off in the infotainment if you like to um and here is wireless charger but i didn't get the car to charge it for it's really slow i don't know in the Australia it was also quite slow this is a rubber mat here and this is padded with leather but not really soft there's a little room here there's also a battery symbol here if your key battery uh, gets low you can just put it here before you replace it so you can start the car uh, there's a armrest here slightly padded uh, also rubber mat now inside here you press button here you open this up so here you have some airbag information it's nice and spacious and plasticky there's a little rubber here so it doesn't ding and here also a rubber mat and you have two usb c's here they illuminate so that's there and uh just looking at the dash really gorgeous gray finish here airbag uh airbag for the front seat is automatic if someone's sitting here the car will turn on the uh, airbag if it's not then it won't and also you have the isofix if it's only isofix the car will know and turn off the airbag so you can see the seats once again nice big shoulders here also support and here we have a little chrome it looks nice with ambient lights and 
two air vents for the passenger. Let's press here to open. So you have a, well, spacious glove compartment. Uh, you get little manuals there. So here we have the Croatian spec. It's the Renault Megane E-Tech Electric Techno Package EV60. Suggesting the battery size, 160 kilowatts of power or 220 horsepower. Base price is 48,690 euros. Pricey, but if you get an incentive, you can maybe slightly lower it. Also, we have additional package options. So we have the addition of the home charger for the Shuko, 400 euros. We have the 12 inch display and Harman Kardon uh, audio system with Google services, 850. That's maybe not that expensive. And we have the uh, advanced parking and driving assistant, 2000 euros. That's a little bit more pricey, but uh, it's good for safety. And we have the heat pump, really important, 800 euros. Uh, definitely something that helps you in the winter to extend the range and not lose capacity. And here we have the, uh, it's the metal blue night color. Uh, that's just direct translation from Croatian and some black atoli interior. I guess this is black gray uh, combo, 990 euros. So in Croatia, uh, would, while this is uh, value added tax, this is CO tax, but there's no CO, so zero emission. You don't pay that. Usually that increases the price in cars in general in Croatia, but uh, value added tax is 25%. And we have 53,730 euros full price or price in kunas down there. I know electric cars are expensive, so, uh, but every product has its own customer. Now, uh, checking the top here, not to forget uh, the mirror. Now, the view behind is, as you can see, very narrow, and you can see further in the back. There's auto dimming, but look at this. You push this up, and yeah, of course, you need to turn on the car. Um, I'm going to come back to that. Passenger airbag information, uh, touch lights on the top, emergency call. And over here, uh, there's documents folder and there is privacy mirror. So when you open it, you turn on the light or turn off when you close. And over here, this does not extend. So this is not covered. So there's a lot of uh, room if the sun is on your left to glare you. Now view is nice. I can slightly see the hood and good overview for the mirrors. You have the blind spot warning, but uh, eight pillars here are a little bit blind spot. Also, a lot of wind noise coming from those big mirrors. And this area could be a blind spot, although it's a little bit less obstructive uh, than on the some other cars that I've tested, like the Cup Tour or the Austral. And of course, front headspace, while there's plenty of headroom for a two meter tall person, not an issue usually on the front. Now, uh, let's turn on the car. Now, I'm going to press brake. It's electric car, so it doesn't matter if it's on or off. I can turn the electric motor on. So, you saw that. And uh, I'm just going to lower the fan speed here. Now, uh, you can see the buttons illuminate there, the colors. Okay, let's focus on the screen on the front. Now this is slightly, oh, started flashing a lot. Uh, let's cover this. Okay, so we have the digital cockpit, it looks beautiful. You have the same one in the Astral, but in the Astral you have four views and this one you have three. And they're slightly different, they're a slight different. Let me show you. So you press here on the view. And yes, the screens are uh, shiny, so there's slight glare. So this is the classical one. We have the speedo on the left and the right. We have how much percentage of power you're using. You have the range uh, of the bottom left, 77%, 230 kilometers. You can see that uh, driving modes at the bottom. So if I press here, you can see you can cycle through driving modes. I'm going to come back to that. Just going to leave it here as it is for this moment. Now, if you press the view here and use these arrows, so let me just show you. When you press the view, you get the maps. When you press again, you get this middle. 
and when you press again you come back to the bubbles so there's three displays uh, on the astral there's additional display now um, just to show you this one if you press this you can turn on the menu here for the music uh, eco monitor tire pressure it shows you when you start driving the pressure odometer uh, consumption current and average and when you have service so if you go to the view here and you add this so it's either on the side or it's going to be in the middle also you can see here how that looks now average power consumption should be around 16 uh, but depends if you're driving a little bit faster on the highway it should rise up to 17 at least the short uh, drive I did today I'm gonna do in the separate video in a night review you come back you're gonna see this I'm gonna tell you more uh, when I do a little consumption test now um, let's go to the uh, main screen uh, or the main infotainment now it is not flashing that much so I'm just gonna keep it at this angle uh, amazing very fast uh, powered by Google so at the bottom you have radio let me just demonstrate some radio here so i can't play for too long but let me just check here so you have station list you have uh favorites i just pressed it accidentally so the car we're trying to save the battery and it'll switch off i guess so let me just check here I'm sorry I can't play for too long. Harman Kardon speaker is definitely better than the bass speakers, but I've I heard better. Now uh, let's come back. So we have here sources. You have here uh, what kind of type of music you want to hear. Sound here you have uh, balance feeder, center, front, or manual. You can adjust it on the screen. Subwoofer, bass, middle, treble. Now. And the harmony card and you get the subwoofer, first so that's an extra and volume speed here um yeah you can go through the uh like dab radio and so on fm dab you're gonna have here uh sources android auto apple carplay bluetooth audio news podcasts usb radio now uh let's come back here now there is this pull down menu you have here messages you can clear them um also shortcut for the settings there's extended list now over here you can uh press down and then you get a full map uh here you have the uh battery so i'm just going to come back to that in a moment and on the bottom you have the ac controls i'm going to come to those as well uh, here you have phone calls or this turns to uh, Apple or Android Auto if you connect uh, settings let's just quickly go through these so sound settings you can see all of those units network you can have Wi-Fi inside the car Bluetooth locations app notifications so i'm not going to go through each uh one here in detail but you can see the basics here storage now is this focused or is it focusing on the steering wheel can't tell because i'm looking at the screen obviously not to the camera now i know there's a little glare but that's at the screen uh, not flickering there so uh, going through the car here, uh, here is where you have driving mode. So you have comfort, you have eco, it changes uh, the cluster there. So once again, you can see slight differences visually. This is the same, but this one also changes. There you go. So you can think, configure each one, but you can uh, configure the most in the uh, personalized because you can choose engine, so normal, sport, or eco. And on the other ones you can. Uh, you can also choose the steering, vehicle dynamics, 
and so on. Now also here you have a life on board. So here you have beautiful animations as well. You have ambient lights. You can see here uh, changing colors. Uh, you can have personal and you can choose the any color you want. You can see that. Okay. And uh, you can have intensity, climate, normal or eco. Now you can see that when you change this, it changes the screens and the color there. Now, uh, moving to, so of course you can just cycle through here. Okay, let me get to the standard here. Now, over here you have a few screen options. You have here electric, so this shows you the battery. This is not exact cut, but it's basically it. Uh, electric motor is in the front, front wheel drive. You can see here consumption or past consumption, it memorizes the average here. Uh, charging, you can instant charge, plug and charge immediately or uh, start if you have a garage or program when you want to car preheat, when you're departing, when you're driving or commuting. Here you can see the range. Now you can move the range for daily uh, to 55. 80 is recommended for daily driving and then, wow, the screen is not actually flickering that much now. Or you can move to 90 and then it's going to, excuse me, 200. And then it's going to tell you if you want to do this permanently. Then it's going to give you a warning. It's not healthy for your battery. So just you can press once. Uh, you cannot slide it. That would be cool, but you can do this. So it's not my car, but I was just going to keep it on the recommended here for the battery's sake. Uh, and then here. This is the sound the car emits, so it's either natural, pure, or expressive. It's just a pedestrian warning system, it's a fake sound. That's that. You have the automatic parking 360 camera. I'm just gonna turn on like that again. Here you can see auto air circulation, air purifier, and um, driving assistance. Now, over here, well, I'm going to use this. Now, when it's sunny, this is flickering terribly, but it actually looks good now. So I'm just going to use this. You can see here, follow distance, blind spot warning, driver monitor, the lane keeping assist, all of that. Uh, you can see here, late standard or early vibrations. And uh, driving eco. So this is a coach. It tells you the power consumption you can see it's a little bit higher and you can set, set a new trip so it resets everything you see the history here and you can see that's like I guess the average you can see the journey here and you can see the score so this gives you a score when you're driving I actually deleted it by accident before I showed you you can see that in my night point of view driving and Parking assistance you can have here, front side uh, sound, what kind of sound you want, pure active. Let me just. So, this is like for the beeps when you're parking. You can see all of that. Oh, wait. Okay. Now, uh, vehicle settings here you can see axis, welcome driving lights, wiping, cockpit, screen, you can set it to automatic, kind of gets dark then, turn indicators, low, high, medium, low, you can uh, put the favorites button, edit widgets, so you can drive more widgets to the screen here, the home screen, tire pressure, and software updates, uh, you can check for updates, I think I've ran the update the other day, but um, you can see here information and you can see here update history. So I guess it didn't install the update the last day I tried. Because I exited the vehicle, obviously, maybe you need to stay inside. Um, yeah, maps is good. You have a search here, so it's all good. And yeah, just let me see what happened here. The car is now on. You can see the climate controls here. You can control that, fan speed. Uh, you can say here, automatic, or you can press the AC. So heated seats are available, heated steering wheel. Now, okay, this is flicker now. Uh, 
yeah you can turn on the AC and then you can press here on automatic then it turns it off you can have fast automatic or soft and yeah this goes yellow if you put it to max you can close that it's all yellow and of course you can choose the air direction here so that's that now uh, the car is on you can show you 360 parking uh, so we have the angle here and the camera actually moves to the side here if you move the steering wheel uh, you can have the front look if you go to reverse you can see the reverse camera so when you drive it shows you the sides here and you can see the angle for the front wheels and over here you can see a 360 also changes the projection and the avatar is not uh, the exact color of the vehicle but you can see really precisely uh, how your car is in 3d and uh, this was the shortcut for the settings I showed you that so that is all uh, I will connect now to the Apple CarPlay just to show you how that looks as well. I just didn't want to do it because it interrupts my filming. Here is Apple CarPlay. Uh, the screen looks like a big iPad now. Uh, you can see that weighs, so it's nice to have options. It's very practical. And you can see that switches to Apple CarPlay. Now you can control the brightness here, but you can see that better at night. And uh, that's it. Uh, not to forget, of course, uh, top mirror switches to screen. There's options here. Press menu. You can go down here and choose all of that. Uh, rotation, indication. Let me just see. Oops. Language, okay. Indication off or on. So you can see those. And then you can see that so it's pretty practical because this gives you a wider look behind you than the mirror rather than the mirror yeah so let me show you the bonnet pull this once now uh, to open left of the badge just push to the left you can see that and voila no frunk so this is the electric motor and you have to use the little leg if you want to keep it open the yellow thing is your washer fluid cap and the rest leave it to the mechanics uh, there's a big sign not to uh, pressure wash your engine bay or the electric motor bay you can use like a cloth wipe it down but you know water and electricity doesn't mix and you can see the headlights so there's like gimmick when they a lock you can see them on so again we're gonna check them uh, outside the city and my night review just to show you the back here uh, we have dynamic turn signals so that was it that was the new Megane electric Thank you for watching to the end be a cool person give this video a like helps me a lot with the algorithm to promote this video to other people who are looking for the megan electric type your comment below how do you like it and maybe what you don't like what you think it could be better and if you like this type of reviews do subscribe help me reach 100,000 subscribers getting close and click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos thanks for watching stay safe see you in the next one bye